Well, Bonjourno, Kalimera, and I don't even know, uh, bon Bonjour? I don't know. Welcome back to another one of these animal prediction videos, animal designing pack videos, I don't really know, but yeah, anyways, so as you guys could probably guess, we're gonna get into the world of Europe today, not really the world, I guess it's more like the continent. So anyways, we're gonna jump right in here. We're gonna give you all our predictions for, at least my wish list, I guess it more is. Let's design it together. So, yes. We're gonna start off with the animal pack for Europe, of course. We're gonna start off with a hard hitter, the Red Fox. Now, the Red Fox, I love these guys. I've made countless Red Foxes mods over the course of Planet Zoo's modding lifetime. But yeah, these guys are absolutely adorable. And you know what? They're relatively common in zoos. Relatively more common in like smaller zoos and stuff like that. But nonetheless, I feel like they'd be a key addition over here, especially because they're found worldwide, not just in Europe. But still, I feel like that would be a wonderful inclusion to have nonetheless. Moving on from that, I also have the Red Deer. Red Deer are very notable for being European cervids. They are essentially also known as European Elk from what I recall, and they're just really beautiful. I think you guys may remember Narwhaler's mod for the Red Deer. It was so beautiful, and just to have an official one would be absolutely insane to have. Moving on from that, speaking of Narwhaler, another one of Narwhaler's mods. So the European Badger. These guys are friendly, they look like they would invite you out for tea or something like that. Just having more, like, um, I forget, mustelids would be absolutely amazing to have. I think these guys would be a key choice, and they just have, like, such a beautiful patterning on them, such a beautiful marking. I don't know, I'm just a really big fan of them, so I'm gonna throw those guys on the list. In addition to that, we also have the Eurasian Beaver. Now, this is just my backup in case if we don't get it in North America, because North American Beavers, I'm going to admit, are so much cooler than you guys. But anyways, the Eurasian Beaver would be an insane addition to have, especially because it's not really highlighted as the nominate species for beavers. You mostly think of like the American Beavers and stuff like that. But I feel like the Eurasian Beaver would be a really awesome inclusion to have nonetheless, especially if we're getting an animal pack. I feel like these guys would be a shoe in right there. Moving on from that, we are going to make our way right up the highlands. We are going for the Alpine Ibex. Now, the Alpine Ibex, it's not really commonly kept in zoos, but that hasn't really stopped Frontier in a while. Cough, cough, Himalayan brown bear, cough, cough, uh, proboscis monkey. But they still do have some captivity all around the world. I feel like they'd be really awesome to have, especially because we did get them in Zoo Tycoon 2. We did get them in Zoo Tycoon 1, and I think we might have also gotten them in Zoo Tycoon 3, but I'm not really sure. But nonetheless, they are an awesome goat species to have, and I feel like they'd be very, very welcome in this game. In addition to that, I feel like the chamois would also be a wonderful goat inclusion as well. So these guys are beautiful. They also have very unique horns. They're just relatively not really well known, but I feel like a lot of people would start to love them if Frontier did include them. It's pretty much, I don't know, I feel like they would be a very interesting sort of like, you know, underrated inclusion. And of course, our last habitat animal would be the Mediterranean Monk Seal. Now listen, Mediterranean Monk Seal, I feel like that'd be a really awesome inclusion to have, especially considering how Africa Pack, we got the... African penguin and we got a penguin in the aquatic pack. I feel like getting more inclusions like this kind of like the mixing over of the packs maybe like crossing streams I guess you could say <laughs> but having a Mediterranean among seal would be absolutely amazing to have especially considering the conservation value behind them It'd be a really really awesome thing for frontier to do if they did include that now moving on from that We also have the last but not least exhibit animal and for this, I would choose the Greek tortoise. Now, we haven't even had a single small tortoise species in the game yet. And I feel like these guys would be really great to have, especially in the exhibit boxes. You could relatively have it be set up like the dung beetle. They could, like, trot around their exhibit and stuff like that. And plus, they're a lot smaller than green iguanas and Antillian iguanas. So I feel like they would still mark the bill right there. I feel like that'd be a worthy inclusion. 
But yeah, that is pretty much it for the animal pack. And of course, I want to appeal to both sides of the fence today. So we're actually going to design the scenery pack as well. So sit down, strap in your boots, and let's go. Red Fox. Again, I love these guys. How can you not love these guys? They're so cute. They're so lovable. I don't know. I just really do like them. Moving on from that, European Lynx. Now, we haven't really had too many small cats recently. The smallest cat we've had is the clouded leopard wow that's kind of insane so yeah the clouded leopard is our smallest cat but moving on from that we would also see the inclusion of the fallow deer now the fallow deer you guys know how much i love these guys i made the bot for it along with narwhaler but these guys are adorable and i would love to get them included in the game i don't know just having more walkthrough animals especially for deer because you can't walk in the same exhibit as um what am I thinking of? Reindeer. Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking of. You can't really walk in the same exhibit as that. So that would be a really nice inclusion to have. Moving on from that, we also would see the inclusion of the Eurasian River Otter. So again, this is another beaver situation. If we don't get it in North America, I would highly suggest that Frontier include it in the European pack. Just because, you know, the giant otter, I love the giant otter. First of all, don't understand all the hate it gets. It's such a lovable animal. I know they're ugly, but listen, come on. I'm ugly and you guys love me. <laughs> but no, I feel like they'd be really, really awesome to have. Nonetheless, you know, moving on, we also have the exhibit animal, the fire salamander. Now, we don't even have... Hear me out. We don't even have too many amphibians that aren't frogs. And I feel like that is pretty sad, but the fire salamander would be a very awesome inclusion to have. I don't know, I would just really like that. So, moving on from that, we also have the scenery theme for the scenery pack, obviously. And so, I was thinking, because, you know, we could pretty much achieve pretty much any kind of style in Planet Zoo, except for more realistic Dutch kind of theming. So, I would have, like, more of an emphasis on stone, slate, wood, boats, and stuff like that. Maybe some more prop boats and stuff like that. I don't know. I would just really see this pack as the ultimate builder's pack, just because it would include so many different kinds of, like, wood, stone, maybe, like, even new paths and stuff like that. I feel like that'd be really cool. And moving on, new transport. I would suggest an open top boat, just something that brings some variety to the transport system. I feel like the Dutch, no, not even the Dutch, the boats that we have in game right now, they're nice if you're going for like a tropical theme. If you're not, if you're going for like a uh, Arctic or like something else, it does not fit the bill in the slightest. So just having like a normal kind of variant of that would be absolutely amazing to have. And you know what? This would all go hand in hand with, you guessed it, the new map slash career mode. So I kind of like, kind of love this idea. So I came up with the idea that it was an old quarter of a Dutch town and they're trying to refurbish it for a zoo. They purchased like the rights for it. They're trying to put like a park and a zoo over there and it's up to you to kind of like bring that zoo up, bring the profits up and stuff like that. So I feel like that'd be a really, really insane thing to have. As for uh, new mechanics, I don't have any, <laughs> but I'm Guys, sure. interrupting Leaf right here. So I completely blacked out of the fact that I wanted to make sure that I include this as one of like the necessary features going forward. I feel like in addition to vending machines, guests should also have an ulterior way to receive food and drink, and I felt like stands and like carts would be a really cool inclusion for facilities in this update. I feel like being able to have guests go out, get pretzels, get hot dogs, bratwurst, I feel like all of those are pretty good in terms of like, you know, European theming. So I feel like that'd be a really cool inclusion, just popping that in there. Thank you. Moving forward, I really do thank you guys for stopping by. Do let me know in the comments what your predictions are. Do let me know what your wish lists are. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care and have an amazing, amazing day. Bye bye now.